Hello again, everyone. Today I am here to profile a company that sells really beautiful um, wooden pallets. And uh, th this person has uh, pallets like this, which would be more appropriate for an at-home pallet with a porcelain mixing area in the middle. Um, and then there's also some more portable options. So that's nice. Um, and they also do handmade watercolors. So I'm not actually gonna be swatching what I've put into this, um, this little uh, watercolor palette here. I do already have a swatch sheet where I've swatched what I have here. Um, one thing to note is I think pretty much all of them do not handle full size pans. They only do half pans, um, but they fit really nicely in these little cubby spots uh, so you and a, a variety of different brands fit as well so it's really quite nice here is my little mixing chart for that um, but I'm not I'm not gonna be swatching these but I am gonna be swatching all of the handmade watercolor samples that I got from this company so I I was very tempted by a lot of the watercolors that were listed because they're all very beautiful. There's a lot of nice granulating colors. So I was really excited to see some watercolor samples included with my order. Um, yeah, the only other thing, so here's some color mixing that I did with uh, the colors that I've decided to put in this, um, in this thing here. There's a lot of it's handmade. There's some deep, deep light watercolors that I did actually move into here from somewhere else. I move things all the time. Um, there's some A Gallo watercolors in here, and then there's just some, a variety of things to have some more standard colors. But I was just having some fun mixing those. But let's get this out of the way. This was really just to show you an example of one of their palettes that they carry. Um, and this is really, really nice. It has little feet. I'm not going to turn it over because all these will fall out, but it has little rubber feet on the bottom, which is really nice so it doesn't move around. Um, and a porcelain mixing area is always really nice. There's just nothing like a porcelain mixing area for watercolor, I think. Okay, I'm going to put that off where it won't fall over. <laughs> and then I'm going to get out my Pentallic watercolor field book so that I can do some swatching for you all. There are quite a few, so I'm going to try and get through um, fairly quickly. I have my uh, Rhapsody watercolor brush here and a pot of water, which I'm going to put over here off to the side. And um, I always keep a tissue handy just in case I need to wipe off some of the water on the brush. So these are not pre-moistened, so you're going to get them in there um, just right off of the, I would say palette, but these are paper, <laughs> state. So this color is called Flame. And because I have not pre-moistened these, you, I might need to go back in a couple of times, but we should be able to get a pretty good representation here. So I just added a little extra water to pull that out to show you what it looks like concentrated versus watered out a little bit. So that's flame. That looks like a really nice earth red color. And with the difference in water, one of the reasons too why I wanted to add extra water at the end is because a lot of these looked granulating and I wanted to make sure that I showed um, that off if, if they are granulating. So this next one is Weathered Rose. So, ooh, beautiful. And I assume most of these are mixes, if not all of them. Um, weathered Rose. This next one is Turquoise Violet. But I always, ooh, this one's pretty. It's very granulating, I can tell. Um, I always am on the lookout for new, nice, watercolor brands that are handmade. Uh, yeah, you can see all of these have, have, here, let me put this up to the camera a little bit. All of these have a little bit of granulation and a little bit of different colors. I'm not really sure that first one. Let me get some more color there so that I can get a better representation there. Yeah, there we go.
but that's beautiful, that turquoise violet. Okay, the next one is called Shadow Purple. And I love granulation, so you're gonna kinda rope me in with granulation for sure. Okay, that's Shadow Purple. Ultramarine Magenta. Oh, wow. This one looks more purple to me, but it's pretty. But yeah, I really was stoked that I got watercolor samples. They probably know. They probably know to include those to get more sales. <laughs> okay, so this is Shadow Blue Light. And I'm not going to be labeling these at the end. So if you do like a color, take note of which color you like. Um, I'm going to put a link to the web shop on Etsy below. And the, the watercolors themselves, they're not super inexpensive, but I think they're reasonably priced for handmade watercolors and, um, you know, colors that would have this much interest in them. So this one is called Deep Sea. Beautiful. And these are pretty a pretty good representation of the colors I've seen and liked. Okay, this one is Snow Shadow. And I will hold these up to the camera at the end so that you can get a better look at them. Ooh, that's lovely. That's kind of like a cobalt teal, something like that. Okay. And you can tell these are really heavily pigmented. And this one's called Storm. I'm excited. I may, not, may have to go <laughs> and get some of these myself. Um... But I'm, but like I said, I'm really glad that I have the samples so that I can try these out in person. If you like granulating colors, these are going to be good ones. Okay, so this is Ocean Wave. That looks a little bit more like sort of like a phthalo green. Okay. Okay, I only have three more left. So this next one is cobalt green hue. So it's not a true cobalt. Oh, that one's actually really pretty. I can see some undertones of yellow in there. This one is turquoise light. Beautiful. And then the last one here is Forest Green. And these, I just, I did not put them in any particular order before I swatched them. Oh, that's super lovely. I like that a lot. Okay. So these are winners, in my opinion. Uh, the, the watercolor palette is great. I've already used it a little bit and have been really enjoying it. Uh, let's see if I can remember what these are. So this is Flame, because I had to put them all over while they were trying. Uh, this one's Flame, which I think is actually very interesting now that it's dried. It has some really cool nuance in there. This one I think is Weathered Rose, really pretty. There's some undertone of, I don't know if that's brown or yellow. Um, this one is turquoise violet, which I think is lovely. Really lovely. And then this one is shadow purple. Uh, I think this one was ultramarine magenta. And now here's where I get a little confused, but I think... <laughs> um, this might have been shadow blue light. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the colors anymore because then I got them kind of out of order. This one I think is forest green. This one's cobalt green hue. This one might have been turquoise light. 
snow shadow perhaps. Okay, well, you can always rewind and take a look, but these are lovely. These are really lovely. They're mostly dry other than this green one here, but the green one clearly has some um, granulation going on. Most of these have a little bit of granulation. Really pretty, really, really pretty. I haven't mixed them or anything and, and worked with them other than these samples, but I think based on these, the colors on the website definitely do them justice. So feel free to check this place out, Masha's Handmade Watercolors, and uh, feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.